hi hello welcome back to my channel dad's princess things yeah this is the tutorials which are uh, i think but last sql tutorials last part of video in this video we are going to see about uh, sql comments and what are sql operators we use and how to give comments in the sql uh, for example if you write any stored procedure if you if you write any query or like that so how to give comments in sql uh, which is uh, comments are basic thing in every programming language which uh, help us to read the uh, programmer to understand that code which is related to is a brief explanation about that code right so how to give comments in sql we are going to discuss in this so before discussing those things uh one main thing if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe and click the bell icon below oh while we clicking the bell icon you will get notified each time when we upload a new video so that you will never miss any other video related to the important concepts or any useful tutorials or any other tech technical related uh, 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 tips or uh, suggestions we will uh, post those type of videos so you will never miss any video of ours so click the bell icon don't forget that basic thing so let's start these tutorials about uh, sql comments comments are used to explain sections of sql statements like what type of sql statement you have written uh, that will like uh, these comments will uh, give extra information about that sql statements right or to prevent the execution of sql command statements like uh, uh, it doesn't affect any execution it come it doesn't execute but it will give the explanation about the sections of that or uh, uh, is that necessary or not it that will prevent the execution of sql statements likewise uh, by using this sql commands so this example in this chapter will not work in a firefox or microsoft edge the examples which are we seeing in, uh, here or uh, the syntax which we hear used here will not work in the firefox or microsoft edge like uh, comments are not supported in the microsoft access database firefox and microsoft edge are using microsoft access database in your, in your example like we have many more database systems like we have seen previously we have ms mysql and uh, sql server and many have we have many we have different types of like microsoft access database are there so different uh, databases servers are uh, different supports different types of uh, things right doesn't support these type of comments which are discussed now so if these comments can be given in sql server or mysql it will support okay uh, single line comment single line comment starts with if you want to comment of a single line then the, you have to follow this particular sy syntax like a two hyphens you have to give any text between two hyphens and the end of the line will be ignored will not be executed that the particular line will be not will be not executed in your sql command that will be treated as a, a comment here and it will be ignored just to understand or explain what will be the this sql uh, statement related to just to understand that uh, just a uh, relate information about that sql statements right comments are nothing but the following example is a single line comment as in the explanation like you can see two hyphens i am using select all like what i am telling that in this particular statement is selecting all the customers from a all the records from a customer so this is the comment uh two hyphen select all let's try this example here you can see that uh select all is uh, nothing but no, it doesn't uh, perform anything it's just a comment so it doesn't perform generally the records of this customers 120 records has uh, came here uh which is uh, think about the records which I have added in the previous session so i am restoring the data restoring the data there are 91 records in this uh in this server or uh, in this website we can say the customer server of 91 records if i am run these sql statements now you can see i have retrieved this 91 records of these customers here so just a comment i am here it is, uh, doesn't perform any action just like a comment we can have to get extra information about the sql commands like another example we have seen the single line command to ignore the end of the line here you can see uh, here i am having a uh, where city is berlin i have commented up to the end of the line i am trying this example you can see i am running the particular thing here i got the 91 records like uh, uh select star from customers i am getting this thing but where city berlin is the comment like uh, i have given double slash right at the end uh, it will take uh, from starting point will be this thing and it will take the end of the line uh, ignore that end of the line comment to the ignore the end of the line it will take if you don't mention anything okay next to the uh, example given a single line comment to ignore a statement to ignore a statement how we can see it like this at the end of the comment you can give uh, semicolon right like select start from uh, customers what this example says a single line comment okay to ignore a statement i am ignoring the statement okay 
uh, I am particular statement select staff from customer. I am ignoring the total statement. Then what I can do? I can comment this particular statement by placing this two hyphens uh, between. Like if I run this particular thing, I am not going to uh, get this uh, select staff from customers because it is commented. The particular statement is commented here. So I am getting only the select staff from products from product tables only. I am getting all the customers like seventy seven records. I am getting. If I uncomment this particular thing what will happen if i uncomment this particular thing i comment this particular thing like we can't select two type two things at a time so i'm running this particular thing here queen prepare statement one not error so, so like this will come okay i'm ending here and you can run this particular thing like select star customers okay if I place this first thing up, I don't know why it is getting error. Yeah, now I am getting the all the customer details like 91 customers. Previously, I got customers of products, right? Now I am getting customers of customers. Likewise, you can do our comment statement also by using this single line comments, okay? Now we have multi-line comments. How can you comment a multi-line? If you want to comment a uh, multi-lines, not a single line, then you can use these type of comments. Like start with the slash uh, star and ends with the star slash. Okay. Uh, at any text between this will be ignored as a comment and be taken as a comment in between these texts is just taken as a comment. The following example uses a multi-line comment as in the explanation. You can see here I'm select all, selecting all, like the text or information related to the particular statement which you have mentioned here. Like selecting all the columns of all the reports in the customer table i'm doing i'm writing that column so it will be not printed it doesn't affect any execution just uh, the select start from customers which is a normal sql query without any comments it will be executed okay and multi-line comments we can uh, ignore those comments by uh, those statements also we can uh, comment statement also like select start from customers is a statement and select start from products is the statement and select start from orders is a statement we are uh, commenting these particular multi-line statements at once but then we can use this uh, backslash star and backslash star to uh, start to end this comment so likewise you can also ignore the many statements by using this multi-line comments okay uh, to ignore not just a part of statement it also uses a uh, slash like this comment to ignore it just a part of uh, part of uh, statements right here here this example explanation is here the following example uses a comment to ignore a part of line if you want to ignore a part of line if you have written so much of code that you want to you can't you can't want to delete uh, all the things you can just comment a particular thing to do you if you don't want to execute that particular thing like i want to first i have written a code that i want to retry the customer name and city and uh, country i want to retry from customers what if i uh, another time i don't want to i don't want a city a city column to be retrieved i just want these two things uh, instead of deleting that things you can just uh, you can just uh, give a uh, comment like uh, this is not a single line comment if you give a single line comment that is a hyphen hyphen a double hyphen then it will take the entire line as a comment let's try this example i will show you in a clear fashion like here is the example for particular column for particular thing in that statement you have to mention uh, comment then you have to use these things only otherwise uh, if you use uh, that uh, hyphen one then the entire line at the at, at the end up to end it will take as commented so avoid this type of here you can see this uh, everything is in green color so entire will be green so uh, uh, for not uh, doing such type of things you have to do, give like this so the second city, city column will be commented then you will get only customer name and the country as an output if you give that like that uh, two hyphens which is used for single line comment it will not work here so particular uh, particular statement or part of statement you want to ignore just want to ignore a part of statement then also you have to use this multi-line comment which is a uh, ha, 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 so, sorry slash and star and star and slash okay the following example gives an a uh, comment to ignore a part of statement for example if you want to ignore a part of statement then also you can use uh, the part of statement is not a single line if it is in a multi line then also you can use the same thing here, here you can see i am commenting up to this part uh, which is in the two different lines then you can start that comment here and you can end that comment here by using this uh, syntax or uh, uh, these characters 
later it will be commented like that what you are doing select star from customers where i am getting customers if it starts with l and starts with r and starts with w i don't want to uh, get the elements which start with s and d uh firstly i have written that code but i don't want now so i can comment just a particular part and get the orders by this so i like i'm trying this example where you can see that uh, i am not getting the uh, customer names with the values of s and t you can see here which are having five records and who which are from l and p and uh, these things only are like a uh, customer name you can see like um, we are getting only from these names uh, if i uncomment this particular thing then uh, let's check how many records it will be driving uh now generally five records huh? and now i am running this thing then i am getting 10 records so if you want to be customized and more records if you written so much of code and don't want that thing then you can just comment then you will get a, the things clear like a specific outputs will be get like five records you are getting so likewise you can comment multi line comments and you can uh, give single line comment single line comment double uh, hyphen will take uh, up to entire uh, at the end of the line so if you don't want uh, that end of the line to be commented you want just particular part then you can use this particular syntax here so that these are nothing but all about comments and next one more important thing we have to discuss in this video is sql operators what is meant by sql operators in any programming language we have these uh, operators right it, likewise also sql also have these operators like which is nothing but basic operators like arithmetic operators and bitwise operators many more other things the arithmetic operators we have addition add add plus and minus subtract and for multiplication star multiply and divide for divide and uh, modulo for modulus like the same things basic things you can try the uh, example here by using this try to editor in this wws course which is very helpful and next we have a bit type bitwise operators which are end operator and or operator and exclusive or operator is there likewise sql comparison operators are there here like equal to less than less than or equal to greater than or equal to or not equal to is there some uh, some database systems which doesn't support this not equal to okay we have to write uh, that uh, not equal things exclamatory not not is the exclamatory equal to then we can write this not equal to in some uh, database systems okay as discussed in previous videos you can go through this video script to get the idea on that and next we have a compound operators in this sql that is nothing but uh, add equals and subtract equals and multiply equals divide equals modulus equals and, and bitwise and equals and a uh, bitwise uh, exclusive equals and um, bitwise or equals okay logical operators are there like all and any we have seen all these things like all, means all operator end operator any operator between operator exist operator in operator like operator not operator so or operator some operator we have seen these things in a uh, single single video which are uh, in other parts so you can if you go through the all the videos which are uh, 14 parts if you get if you want to get more clarity on this sql don't miss any of the part so start from the one and uh, slowly one by one so you will get all you will cover all these uh, logical operators uh, and you can uh, try with the examples also like all means true if all the subqueries meets the condition and we have discussed all these things and end uh, is true if all the conditions uh, separated by the end uh, is true and uh, any true if any subquery values meets the condition uh, between true if uh, operand is within the range of comparison and exists if the subquery returns one or more records in while we use in if it is true the operator the operand is equal to one of the list of expressions as we have seen we have given values in the list if that particular is values are in that list then it will returns a true value like is uh, it will return a true if the operand matches a particular pattern which you want like star a or a star a a a percentage we have seen a underscore likewise the things will be there wild card uh, wild card uh, items are there we can use by using this like and not uh, display say record uh, records if the condition is not true and or true if the condition separated by or is true some true if any subquery values meets the condition likewise we have discussed each and everything in a clear fashion in the previous videos you can go through those videos to get more clarity on this uh, sql operators which are very important to perform any operation by using these operators in this sql series so up to end uh, we have seen many things here yes, in this uh, website we have seen all these things in the sql tutorial uh, intro home in the let's say you corner you have all the uh, concepts line by wise we have make videos on this line only by using this order only so you can go through those all the parts 
then you will get more clarity on these things and parallel you can open this website and uh, try it yourself and also uh, do the quizzes which are in this we have a quizzes and also some exercises are there in this sql series so try those things to get more clarity on these things so that's all for today thanks for watching uh, the all these tutorials and giving your support for us if you have any doubts or any suggestions you want to give us you can feel free to give in the comment section we will definitely take your suggestions and we will try to implement those suggestions also if your friends or colleagues who are uh, preparing for any web developer websites you can suggest this website and suggest our video so this videos will help them a lot while learning the these basic things if you like this video give a big thumbs up below and uh, share this video with them thanks for watching keep learning keep sharing bye bye